Welcome back to Skyrim, guys. I have not quite fast traveled to the Greybeards once again. Just in case, did you just sit on that rock? Sit on the rock again. Anyways, just in case something happens as soon as I fast traveled. And you're probably going to be really mad at me. I'm really far ahead. I'm sorry. But it's because I'm having a really good time playing and I don't want to just drop it. It's a lot easier to keep track of the stories and what's going on and what the big problem is if I play in big chunks like you would normally if you're playing the game. So I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Anyways, we're off to talk to the Greybeards to see if they know what kind of shout will knock Aldun or a dragon out of the sky. I always want to call this place like, Hi Harathgur. Like, with, like, the whole gargly spit sound thing going on. I just think that's how it should be said. I don't know. <laughs> Greybeards! Hello! I know it's late, but I gotta talk to you. There's important things going on in the world. Sky above. Voice within. Wind. Guide you. I need to learn the shout used to defeat Aldun. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Does it matter? Yes. For matters of such gravity, we need to know where you stand. Or who you stand with. I have nothing to hide. The blades helped me find out about it. The blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the blades to be used for their own purposes? I just wanted to stop the end of the world, man. <sighs> the blades just want to ha to defeat Aldun, don't you? What I want is irrelevant. This shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. Well, I'd like to postpone it, it again. Us. If the world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. No. So you won't help me? No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. Forgive me, I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. There you go. So can you teach me the shout? No, I cannot teach it to you because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. What? We do not regret this loss. Dragonrand holds no place within the way of the voice. If the shout is lost, how can I defeat Alduin? Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. Oh. Why haven't I met him? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Well, I'm the frickin' Dragonborn. I should be able to see whoever I want. Who is he? He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. <sighs> How do I get to the top of the mountain, then? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Okay. I'm down. Teach away. Alright, I'll, I'll follow everybody. Keep going. Here, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just walk slowly so I don't bump into you and you just keep on going your way. Da da da. Kid, has anyone ever actually, like, played Skyrim and walked the entire way instead of running? Or, like, only running, like, when you would in real life instead of running constantly? Oh, I'm going in there. Okay. 
I think that would be for a really long game if you did nothing but walk. Like, I guess it wouldn't matter if you were ever over, uh, burdened or whatever you call it when you're carrying too much stuff, because I'm pretty sure this is how fast you walk when you're carrying too much stuff. Why is there shit on fire in the middle of your pathway? Hoi. It's a really cool pathway though, I'm not gonna lie. I feel the need just to keep talking while they're walking because they're really quiet guys. You know, except the second they open their mouths and they're like, Roar! The path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. Okay. Sketchy gate. Look. So, does that mean I just need to open it up? No. Cool. Are we good? Oh, I learned it! Thank you, buddy! I will grant you my understanding of clear sky. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Wow! Clear skies it will blow away the mist, but only for a time. Okay. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Okay. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal. And you will reach the summit. Thank you. Use clear skies to open the way. That's all you're going to gonna tell me? Alright, buddy. Okay, I guess we better put this as our shout. And uh, get all moving. Serana, I hope Serana can come. I sure hope she can. Oh, oh, oh. Clear skies. Right, 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 right. Okay, let's do this. Look, Bakur! Run! I hope I don't really have to run. I'm not walking, so actually, technically, I am running. See? Run! Jump over that! <laughs> um. Clear skies again? Look, Bakur! Ah, oh, I gotta keep. Oh, look at that, though! There's ore! Come on, guys! Can't just leave ore behind. You have to mine it. Like, who knows when we're going to be allowed back up here ever again. If we're ever allowed up here ever again. It might be like, you're only allowed up to the peak of the mountain if you're on the quest. And past that, we're going to put a giant wall here. Did I save? I think I saved. Look! Bakur! See? Look at this. I'm learning. I'm learning to use my shouts over and over and over again. <gasps> oh, I have to wait? But my shout isn't good. There we go. Look, cool. There we go. Anything cool up here? Nope. <gasps> oh, look. It's a trail marker. Oh, the poor goat. I'm sorry, Mr. Goat. I feel bad for you. Whoa. Oh, my Die! Gosh. Darn thing. Look, but cool. Okay, using shouts is pretty cool. I should get... I really need to start using more of them because they are really cool. I just always forget. It's kind of out of my way, you know? Why does a frost troll move so quickly? That seems unfair to me. There we go. Come here, slide down here so I can uh, get all your stuff and then I'll no. use my show. Cool. See, this isn't that hard. It's more so having to wait for your shout to hurry up. Come on, shout. 
Serana and I got places to be, like up at the peak of this mountain. Look, cool. <laughs> this is so fun. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Ooh, climbing up the mountain. Oh, goat, don't worry. I won't kill you, Mr. Goat. I like you. I like goats. Goats are adorable. Don't kill the goats. That would be mean. Whoa! I don't want to hit the goat! Is the goat my friend now? That'd be cute if the goat was my friend now. But I don't want anything I come across to kill the goat. I should probably save while the goat's alive. Oh, there we go. Look! Bakun! Ho oh, clear skies. So is this the only time I ever need to know this shout? Or does it just work on like a rainy day? I can be like, go away rain! And actually shout it and then I would not have to deal with the rain anymore? Huh? Would that work? Probably not, eh? That would be cool if it did. And we're gonna get our bow up again because we realize there are sketchy things that try to kill us up here. It's not all... Sunshine, some butterflies. There's more goats. And there's more trail markers. And I wonder what happens if I shoot... Oh, I don't think I have the bow on me. I think I only have... Oh. I don't have Oridon's bow on me. No. I was going to shoot it with the other arrows so I could see what the good arrows do to the sun. But I guess I don't get to see that yet. I'll just carry on. And talk to this gentleman up here who's going to teach me how to take the dragon out of the sky. Throat of the world. <gasps> that, my friends. Oh, shiznet. Drem Yolok. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenac. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? It's a dragon? I think you already know who I am. Yes, Vaza. You speak true, Dovakin. Forgive me. It has been long since I held Tinbach with a stranger. I gave in to the temptation to prolong our speech. Why live alone on a mountain if you love conversation? Evanar Balok, there are many hungers it is better to deny than to feed. I like this guy. Nakib, discipline against the lesser, aids in Kahnar, denial of the greater. Okay. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? I need to learn the Dragon Run shout. Can you teach me? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. It's so bright out here. I the elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovakin. I have spoken. The Rotmulag waits. Oh, Shiznet! Oh, Serana, I'm going to beat you up. I swear to goodness. Why do you intrude here if not for Tinva? I'm trying to get a screenshot and Serana keeps walking in my way. I'm coming. Like, look at this. Isn't this cool? This is so cool. I have spoke a gift, Dovakin. Your yeah! fire I win. the Dove do. Show me what 
you can do. Greet me, not as elf, but as Dova. Use your fire breath shout. Your tour! Ah, yes. Sosedo Vlostmul. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. <laughs> so, what's up, buddy? So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sauce, dragon blood. It's because I'm awesome. What would you ask of me? I got what I need you. Oh, can you teach me the dragon run shout? That wasn't the dragon run shout, right? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Yes. Um, how did you know I came for Dragon Ren? Alduin Comet Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovakin return together. Why doesn't everybody ask this guy for the prophecy? But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Shut up. Your kind. Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Really? How can I learn it then? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? I like this world. I don't want it to end. Prusa, as good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Well, they're buggers. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Uh-uh. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa? Lean Vokin, would you stop the next world from being born? Uh, I didn't come here to debate philosophy with you. <laughs> you have much to learn of the Dove, then. There is nothing else but philosophy to a Dova. It is no accident that we do battle with our Thum, our voices. This guy does like to talk. There is no distinction between debate and combat to a dragon. Tinvak Losgra. For us, it is one and the same. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus. Now, I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? No. I never thought about it. This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Zokravakstruma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. On this mountain? Using the Dragon Ren shout, right? Yes and no. Viknuzni Karon. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. Has a good point. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout 
to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Are you saying the ancient Nord sent Aldun forward in time? Mm, not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day, he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. That's why you live up here. So how does any of this help me? Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. Okay. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Teed Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Oh, shit. I have the Elder Scroll. But that Look seems... Like, that should be a brand new episode because holy man, that's a lot to take on. So, I think we can continue next time, guys. Wow, that's a lot to take in. We're going to have to go back in time. That's craziness. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Miss Biz. Bye for now. Okay.